Hello, this is David Goodwin. I'm the Visual Tools Manager for the CUDA Development Tools at NVIDIA. Today I'm going to show you Inside Eclipse Edition, which is the CUDA ID that's available in the CUDA Toolkit. What you can see here is Inside Eclipse Edition, and what I'm showing in the middle of the screen is the CUDA Editor. Now this is an editor that you, that you can use to edit and develop your code that's completely CUDA aware. You'll notice that the CUDA API calls are highlighted and that we have special indications of when you're developing either device kernel code or host code. There's also lots of other features that you'd expect to find in a world-class IDE, such as smart completion and pop-up help. All of these features will help you more quickly develop and more productively develop your CUDA code. So another important part of development, of course, is to be able to build your applications. Now over on the left you can see in the Project Explorer that you can have a number of different projects active at the same time. These can be executable projects, static libraries, or shared libraries. And you can control all facets of how they are built and configured. To actually build a project, you can simply select it and then use the hammer button in the toolbar. Here we're going to build the debug version of the Matrix Mole project. The IDE takes care of all the work and builds your application for you. Running an application is just as easy. You find the, um, the Run button in the toolbar again, and click it, and your application will run. An important part of application development, of course, is debugging, and the IDE helps you out there as well. We've already built the debug version of our application. Now, by using the Debug button, we can uh, run our application in, in debug mode. I've already got this started, so to see how that works we can just switch over to the debug perspective of the, of the IDE. So what I've done here in the upper right hand corner by hitting that button is I've switched from editing and building to debug mode. And now that we're in debug mode, the IDE has reconfigured itself to give you all the features that you need to effectively debug your program. Importantly, we're able to see all the different CUDA threads in your application. Here I'm scrolling through, you can see that this particular kernel which we're, which we're executing has a lot of different threads and blocks. But by using the features of the IDE, we can easily choose the threads that are important to us and view their state. For instance, right now I'm looking at thread 0 and block 0, and thread 1 and block 1. And over in the different other views, I can then see the state of those threads. Here I can see the different variable values for those threads. I can also look at register values for those threads. I can see the disassembly for where I am in the code and the corresponding location in the source code. Another unique feature for CUDA that we have in our IDE is the ability to, the ability to explore the state of all the kernels and the hardware that your application is using. Here we can see all the different uh, threads that are running on the different SMs in your machine, in your device you're using, and what warps and lanes they're using. You can also look at it from a hardware perspective to see the GPUs that you have available to your application and how they're being utilized by the different kernels. Of course, like any world-class debugger, you're able to single-step your code, set breakpoints, view variables as they update as you're stepping your code, and view registers as they're updating. You can step through the source code, or you can go into instruction stepping mode, where you can step through individual assembly lines. Another important part of CUDA development is optimizing your application. So once you've developed and debugged your application to get it functionally correct, you'll want to use the profile that's included in the Inside IDE to optimize your application. Let's select the stencil stream project and build that so that we can profile it. When you're profiling an application, you want to build the release version of the application. Then we can, using these toolbar buttons, we can profile our application. The IDE is now running the application in a special mode that collects profile information. When it's complete, 
it switches to the profiles perspective. Much like the debug perspective, which was optimized for debugging, the profile perspective is optimized to give you all the tools you need to optimize your application. In the middle of the profile perspective and view is a nice timeline where you can see the activity of your application over time. You can see the memory copies and kernel executions that are occurring, as well as the activity on your CPU. The profiler includes an automated analysis engine that can help you pinpoint optimization opportunities within your application. Each of these optimization opportunities is linked to online help that you can use to learn more about these performance issues and ways that you can resolve them. The Insight Eclipse Edition IDE for CUDA developers includes all the tools you'll need to edit, build, debug, and profile your CUDA applications. I hope you enjoy using it. Thank you.